2022. Last time they've had back-to-back -back week one wins, 93-94. Big run, Jerome Ford. And Pierre Strong are the other two backs in that running back room. Look at Teller right there. But the, the story was also the front side of that play. Jedrick Wills, 71, controlling at the line of scrimmage. And look at him, making sure that no one can get to the outside. Harris at fullback. And he got it. Jerome Ford takes it in. And he does a really good job. You see some of the athleticism that he has as an offensive lineman playing fullback. He leads through the hole. That's a, that's a great job. And then Jerome Ford just gets in behind. Second down and five. Ford over the right side. Nice change of direction. Watson throws a block for him. Jerome Ford down the sideline. Ford stumbling and in for the touchdown. We'll make sure he got in. Browns are on top by one. The ruling on the field is that the runner is short nice. of the touchdown. It'll be Pittsburgh's ball, excuse me, Cleveland's ball, first and goal inside the one-yard line. Yeah, so they good. corrected that. Yeah, it was a good job. What a great job by Ford. They bottled him up on the front side, but he's able to come back, and that is the thing that he does have. You know, you missed Nick Chubb. Jerome Ford brings a little bit more speed. First and goal from the three. Ford looking for a seam. Extends. Touchdown. The absence of his big brother, Chubb, and he's been all over the place for Cleveland. Uh, excellent blocking. First front side by both tight ends. Batonio, and then you got a chance on the edge. Oh, what's up? Little pitch, it is four. Left side, spin move for first down and more. That's his best run of the day. And a really good move and a first down. Yeah, it's a great run, really well blocked. Little pin and pull. They need someone to seal the edge with a down block. And then they pull a bunch of the big body offensive linemen out in front to block a so now new life. They flip it to Ford on first down. It cuts out across the 45. And then some. He's into San Francisco territory. And ideally without a couple of these timeouts. Yeah, this is Ford. Big hole. First down and more. Ford with the cut. Still going. It is inside the 15. A 22-yard run and takes it down to the two-minute warning. And Kareem Hunt dealing with a thigh injury is going to play as Ford breaks one. Ford toting the rock to front. The center, uh, Posick and Joe Batonio, the left guard, just a masterful job of getting on their blocks <laughs> and Jerome Ford is just able to turn right up the gut it is Ford it is a first down a stumbling run into Seattle territory they'll mark him down at the 46 you're going to have David Njoku coming from a cross formation to block you but if you can squeeze it there's nowhere for Jerome Ford to go because you've compressed that running lane they talk about wham blocks right guy comes from Watson protected on third down, goes underneath. This is Ford, first down and more. Ford on the run. Knocked out of bounds as he crosses the 30. Good decision, Ford. Everybody's blitzing, but then they're going to drop out. But watch Ford, he just leaks out. He's going to stand to protect, he leaks out. And the underneath coverage for the Arizona Cardinals don't account for him. Really good job. Deshaun Watson could have easily ran for that first down, but... That they can handle Lamar Jackson. Here's Ford on first down. Ford out across the 35-yard line for... Second and ten, it's Ford, spins. And will pick nice up a first on. down and more. Jerome Ford. 
And Jerome Ford, they love how shifty he is. Look at the balance that he has. He gets contact and puts a stiff arm on Geno Stone. That's a nice run. From the Ravens, 39, it's Ford. So hard to bring him down. Still going. With some help from his friends. Now, I'm watching all pro Joe Batonio and watch how he kicks out to Davian Clowney and opens up the hole for Ford and then Ford just keeps going in that offensive line. They love the way those running backs have been running all game. They get up there and start mushing and pushing the pile. Look at that. We need a nickname for this. I, I don't know what the nickname is, but I do know if you want to show a team that you belong, that's how you do it. Defense and guys playing in unfamiliar roles. Second down and five. Ford makes a cut. Gets to the outside. Tackle down with a flag in on the play. Peterson eventually brought him down. But there's the face mask. Patrick Peterson hooking him with the left hand and twisting him around. A good call by the officials catching the open field. But what a jump cut by Jerome Ford. And put him down there. Extra blocker is Nick Harris. Handed off. Ford fighting. Second effort. And Ford is brought down inside the one. And I say you go get it. If a lot of bodies, a lot of mass in there. And as Gene Steratore told us, that twist, and when you had a shot just down the line, you were able to see it as he twisted that the ball broke the goal line. There's enough there for him to break the goal line right there. Not trying to be anyone else, and boy, are we seeing old Russell Wilson. Yeah, he has looked like old Russell Wilson today as getting to the outside is Ford and with good speed tripped up across the 40. Well, finally, this is what we were expecting from the Browns. But you see Teller in front. Locke's got to make that play on the edge. And Ford circles this defense right outside. And you're going to see Teller make a huge block. Locke has to get down there a little bit faster. The way we saw Justin Simmons do it, Locke has to. Hopkins, their kicker, so DTR has got to be smart. They'll check it down. On the edge, it's Ford. Makes a man miss. Ford's going to have a first down and then ducks out of bounds at the 32. Is perfect right in stride. And what does that allow you to do? It allows you to make a move on the edge, get elusive, get skinny, break a tackle. It had the strength to make the throw and on first down back to the ground and room for Jerome Ford. Another first down as is. Ford's out near the 48 yard line before PJ Locke and Justin Simmons can trip him up. I like watch this little white block across here, the cross zip zone. And there it is just to hold those defenders for half a second. You see Locke had to pause for a second, diagnose it, and there he go. And it, and second down and four from the 24. And we know the Flacco kids are watching. Just trust us. Your dad didn't say any of you were bad at all. Halfback. Wide open. Four down the sideline. He's got it. It's a touchdown. There is a flag down on the near side. Oh, no. This is illegal. Oh, Defense, wow. number zero. That penalty is declined. Result of the play. Touchdown. You can't have a better start to Joe Flacco in a Browns uniform than what they did on this opening drive. Everybody run this way with the fake. Joe Flacco's going to fake it like that, and then the back's going to leak out of the backfield. And Akella Witherspoon on the backside, somebody's got to have eyes on the back. Second down and four. It's a running play for four. Four cuts to the outside, walks the tightrope. Handles the contact, and he's out of bounds. Remember, they use Nick Harris, 53, as a backup fullback. So he's used to getting out and being able to run. And Wyatt Teller, 77, there's a reason he's been second-team All-Pro a couple of times, because he gets out in malls when he gets out in open space with people. And they create that distance and that... This time it's going to be Jerome Ford. Flacco on the outside. Ford cuts it. He's got the angle. Touchdown, Browns.
A perfect start to the holiday for Cleveland. And the Browns punch first. And look at the block there by Tillman, number 19. There's Hudson, 66, getting out in front. And what was interesting about the play is they brought Flacco. Jets need the top in almost every category. Flacco throws, caught. Can he get into the end zone? And it is a touchdown for Jerome Ford. Nojoku gets him downfield, but watch this matchup right here. 22 Adams trying to stay in man-to-man. -man. He runs into traffic because of that route by Nojoku. Second and ten. Inside handoff. There's Ford again. Room to roam. Gain of 17. Run down by Quincy Williams. And when you get upfield like this, it, it really gives the Browns, that's John Franklin Myers, it gives the Browns some nice blocking angles and allows them to climb up to get to C.J. Mosley. So the defense have been, but, you know, they're trying to get upfield, trying to think about Moore is now out. Marquise Goodwin comes in as the wide out to look for, and Flacco almost gets sacked. There he goes, throws on the run, caught inside the 30, inside the 20, goes Jerome Ford, still on his feet. Ford looking for the end zone, gets there. The ability to just take this hit right there, and that's Quinton Williams. He shakes that off, and now, now instead of running, he keeps his eyes downfield and sees Ford is able to get away from Williams and just takes it to the end zone. Everybody, remember, they have their backs turned, but what an effort by Ford still to fight to get it into the end zone. Driscoll underneath to Ford, and Ford breaks a tackle and gets inside the 30. He's got the first down. Not only did he get a first down, he stayed inbounds. The pass last night that went fell incomplete. Yeah. 